there's ever been a time the Holy Spirit is moving. It's moving fast. It's moving fast. It's moving fast. Receive your healing in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Now, receive your healing right now. Oh, God's moving. God's moving. Oh, let him touch you. Let him touch you where you're at right now. Let him touch you. Hallelujah.
como si es hey, story para already son los 8.35 tal vez en unos países a veces hay un bit different el tiempo va a ser un poco diferente but thank you for those people that are watching us on, online oh, thank you so much for taking your time to spend time with growing together ministry tonight and I want to everybody go with me to John 17. Mm -hmm. Vamos a estar hablando de Juan 17. And as we see, it's February. Mm -hmm. Valentine's month. Amen. Yes, sir. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. What is the true love? The true love? Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. We don't have to wait to February 14 to That's right. have some love. That's you right. got love every single minute. Amen. Every single day. Yes. yes. We want to read from verse 9 all the way to verse 23. Tonight I'm going to use new international version because I feel more comfortable with some, I know some of you are going to use some King James. It's okay. Mm -hmm. But one thing for sure, I understand more New International better than King James. Got words that I say, what does that mean? It sounds like they are out of my oh, yeah. sermon. But that's why I choose New International Version. Mm -hmm. So verse 9 says, I pray for them. But I am not praying for the world. But for those you have given me, for they are yours. All I have is yours, and all you have is mine. And glory has come to me through them. I will remain in the world no longer, but they are still in the world. And I'm coming to you, Holy Father. Protect them by the power of your name. The name you gave me, so that they might be one as we are one. Amen. While I was with them, I protect them and keep them safe by the name you gave me. None has been lost except the one doomed to destruction, so the scripture will be fulfilled. I am coming to you now, but I say these things while I'm, I am still in the world, so that they might have the full measurement of my joy with them. Ah. I have given them the world, and the world has aided them. For they are not of the world anymore that I am of the world. My prayer is not that you take them out of the world, but that you protect them from the evil one. They are not of the world even as I am not of it. Sanctify them by the truth. Your word is true. As you send me into the world, I have sent them into the world. For them I sanctify myself that they too might be truly sanctified. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. So as we see, Jesus, he prayed before he gone. Why I call my sermon, we are still here? Because <coughs> we are still here. Mm -hmm. yeah. still here we preach we still here we show Christian life we here we showing how Christians supposed to live on this world like Jesus does he's our example right mm -hmm. yes. so some things on our daily life or daily living we are going through bad situations. We are going sometimes so hard days. We gotta deal with people. We gotta deal with our families. But we are deal with ourselves too. Mm -hmm. We are deal with ourselves every single second of our life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when I was doing the ceremony, I said, 
myself. I'm gonna steal you. How I can do these things better? How I can deal with these things another way? Mm -hmm. How I can deal with these things that I know is not right right now? I don't want to screw up later. I want to do something right. I know it's not going to be easy, but it taking me to Philippians 4, 13. It says, I can do all things through him. Lord. Who give me the strength. Who's that? Jesus Christ. Amen. So, when we go into a bad situation or a daily life, because we are still here, this war is not going to become good. This is going to be worse and worse and worse. The Bible says, this day, day by day, is going to be worse and worse. I was watching the TV, well, not TV, Facebook, and you know, it was some kind of ceremony this week or last week about the Latin Grammys. And everybody come worship the devil with all the come uh, different kind of faces and all that. I say, man, they try to introduce us the devil no matter what. They try to do it different ways. That's the things that we got to deal with. And we just ask the Lord, Lord, give me strength. Keep me on the right decision. Yes. Keep me on the right way. Mm -hmm. <coughs> when we start doing something, or when I start doing something, sometimes I say, I can do this. I cannot do this. For some reason, I think that. But then I realize, he's my father. Yes. Yeah. He's going to show me. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's not going to leave me alone. Amen. Amen. That's right. I'm going to right? I'm going to So who are we looking for when we go going through bad situations? We look for God or we look for somebody else? First thing we go is with lost friends, family, or somebody's training. We want somebody else to tell us what we want to hear. Now what he wants to tell us. Amen. Come on, come on. Amen. <laughs> and sometimes we are still here. We are still here. We are still gonna make those mistakes. Yes. Nobody's perfect. If somebody come and tell me I'm perfect, he a lie. Hundred percent, he a lie. So I don't believe that's kind of stuff when somebody tells me, oh, I know how to do everything. I say, really? I say, we live in a world that keep changing things every day. Yes. Every single day they got something new for us. Mm -hmm. Amen. But the only thing that stays the same is about the word of God. Amen. That's why every time we go to, when we say how I can do this, we got to go to the Bible. Some reason, sometimes when we open our Bible, we He gonna give us a passage or verse that's gonna touch our heart. Mm -hmm. He's gonna change our minds. Mm -hmm. That's what I say. He gave me Philippians 4 13. I can do all this through Him who gave me strength. Amen. Then, when we start doing something, we gotta put dedication. On what we want to do, how yes. far we want to go. Yes. It's not okay. Now I got everything straight. What I'm gonna do? Oh, us, we on Valentine's or whatever everybody calls that. We gotta share the love of God every single day. Now we gotta wait on February 14th. Amen. Amen. We, don't, we don't have to do that. I mean, sometimes we forgot, I'm not, I'm cool with me, I'm not the only one who think, but sometimes I forget. But I try to be, I can do all things like this, try to be 
respectful with everybody. Yes. Try to be nice with everybody. But like I say, we are still here. Yes. Sometimes I hate people. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they hate me. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm human. I got feelings. Mm -hmm. I'm not a robot. Mm -hmm. I've got feelings. Mm -hmm. But then I realized what I'm doing. It's not what he wants me to do. So he want me, he want me, he want you, he want everyone on this room, he want everybody, everyone online to share the love of God. Amen. Amen. Sometimes when we knew, we say, how I can share the love? Mm -hmm. We can go and give it somebody else's love. Mm -hmm. We don't know how the other person feels. Mm -hmm. We don't know the feeling. We don't read minds yet. I don't know. I can't read the no mind. I don't know if somebody can read minds over here, but I don't. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we don't have to speak. Sometimes we just gotta give you a hug, be with them, buy a drink, buy a plate, a food, something. But he gonna start saying, they different. That's yes. what people tell me. Sometimes they keep coming and say, you are different. I say, yeah, I'm different. That's every time I remember when I met Pastor David, that he told me, you're not going to be able to move the piano. I keep saying, okay, you're going to find out. You're going to find out, Pastor David. <laughs> I take it off. When he was telling me that, I say, I got a mighty guy. That he gonna tell me how to get out this piano for that small door and heavy one. Matter of fact, Pastor Debbie, and that would help us put it on the trailer. <laughs> that was heavy one. I was saying, how I can, how I can do this? But he told me, he showed me how I take it off. Amen. Amen. Pastor David said, I don't want you to get hurt. I said, okay, okay. I was saying on my mind, I got this, I got this. <laughs> But I know who I need to go first. I gotta go to him. Amen. But since then, I know I can do all things to Christ. Amen. 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 We gotta put dedication. We need to start thinking and pursuit that we can make. It. That you can make. It. Amen. It's not gonna be in. Sometimes we forgot about he, he is in control of everything. We forgot about he's our father. Like I say, he's not gonna let us alone. After dedication, we going through little fear, little by little, we stop and say, what I'm doing. And we start thinking about quick. Why? Because we don't see nothing. We don't see what we thought is going to happen. We try to quit. I like, how many of you watch about when somebody is throwing the other one behind him, try to throw the towel? We try to do that sometimes. We try to throw, throw the towel. But he said, take your time, take it easy. It's not over yet. I know. That's why he prayed for us. Mm -hmm. So he said, they're going to be in the world. It's not going to be easy. The devil, the evil, going to try to fight them. Going to try to walk them away from the right position. Sometimes we forgot to pray. Sometimes, years ago, I started making music. Because I got my own song, Spanish. I don't see nothing. I've been writing bunches of a song. I said, if you really want me to keep writing songs, we gotta do this, we gotta do that. And I was to work with writing songs, but when I get home, get my guitar and start playing. I said, well, I said, is this working out? Do I have to keep doing this? Then I took my guitar away and I started doing something else. But then I realized, Probably not going to be now. It's going to be in the future. I don't see nothing. I 
as I don't see, I like it, but he still give me a song every time I go to a bad situation, every time I, like, I'm happy he give me a song to write it down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sad he give me a song to write it down. I remember probably 2015, before my first born, my first child was born, my wife was a baby. She was three months pregnant. I went to work, come back, and go to my, my bedroom, stay there for about four hours, sleep, I do nothing. That's I do that for a week. Then I realized what I'm doing. He gave me a song. I said, he got everything on control. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what I said, I don't quit. I keep going, I pursue my dreams. If he give me those dreams, I'm going to keep going all mm -hmm. over again. You got to start all over again, I'm going to go ahead and start all over again. Yes. Why? Well, because every time we make mistakes, we learn something. Every time we make a mistake, we learn, Amen. we learn something. Amen. Sometimes we don't want to learn from somebody else. Uh -huh. We want to learn on ourselves. Mm -hmm. Everybody keep telling us it's going to be hard. Say, I don't care, I want to learn on myself. Mm -hmm. That's sometimes people keep telling me, hey, don't do it that way, don't do it that way. Even on my phone. They my friends, they can tell me how to do mm -hmm. different ways. Yes. So sometimes we try to do something we thought it's going to be the right way, but it does this different ways. Every mind is a world. Mm -hmm. Every mind thinks different. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we're going to be around good people. Sometimes we're going to be around bad people. Amen. Mm -hmm. I want to be around both of them. Why? Because Jesus was the same way. He was around good people. He was Amen. bad people. Yeah, man. But now, I know some people that they just want to be around the good people. They let, they let the other people alone. They don't want to mess with them. Mm -hmm. I keep saying, why? If somebody else see them, they exclude them for church. Oh, they don't want to see them. Oh, they don't want to talk to them. Mm -hmm. I say, really? What kind of love do you share? How we want our ministry to grow up. Mm -hmm. Amen. I know we are still here, we're human, but sometimes we got to think different. Mm -hmm. We got to think like Jesus Christ thinks. Amen. He don't come for the good. He come for the bad people. Mm -hmm. Yes. He come for the sickness. Amen. Yes. yes. I don't see on the Bible here heal whoever, whoever was uh was good. He healed the bell. He raised up people from death. Mm -hmm. yes. So, I know we preach in a lot of sermons week by week by week by week, but I hear something. But for sure, tonight I'm supposed to be on Bible school. I started my third year on Bible school away and been here. So my professor, I said, look, in three weeks, well, four weeks, you're not going to see me here. You tell me why. I say, because somebody invited me to preach. I say, for me, I know I got to be there, but I got to preach the word of God. If he gave me this opportunity, I'm going to take it. Amen. Then he told me, go ahead on, we're going to pray for you. Amen. We want you to keep going. Don't be afraid. Don't be fear of what's going to happen. Because I told him what happened to me last time, he said, keep going, don't stop. Amen. Amen. Somebody else tell me, what you doing there? I said, because what I'm feeling right now, he prepared me for something bigger. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. He prepared yes. me for something that I was looking for years ago. Amen. Not on the English, but on the Spanish. But he changed my dreams. He changed everything I was talking. So he brought me to American church. Yes. Amen. This oh. Mexican brown skin. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. I don't give up. I keep going. I went to a bad situation. I always gonna be thank God for Pastor David. Always gonna be thank God. Because I mean, 
I was here. One month later, I was here. Why? Because I was saying I'm not going to preach no more. I'm not going to sing and now the churches. So he said, come on. I want you to be there. Amen. Don't worry about what other people say. Amen. Amen. Follow me. Not me. Him. Amen. He told me that follow me. So I follow him. Amen. Trying to be obeying what he told me. Amen. Glory. God is good. Yes, Glory. 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 Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. So I know sometimes you're going to say, you're going to quit about this thing. But let me tell you something. We're going to get it done one day. Yes. We're going to get it done one day. The same thing, the same words God tells Joshua, I'm going to be with you from now on all your life. Amen. He's going to be with us. Yes. Amen. Glory. He's going to be with us. Amen. If we do something for him, he's going to help us. Yes, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He's going to be with us. Amen. See, like, I talked to a pastor Larry when I walk in. He said, they got everything ready for you. I said, I got some problem with my throat. I don't think I can say. <laughs> I told my wife when she get home, I said, give me a Tylenol. I want to give me a Tylenol. I'm looking for, I say, oh, well. But we feel his presence. Hallelujah. Amen. We feel his presence on this church. And this is the second time I come and I feel his presence. Hallelujah. Sometimes I play. I don't know if you'll see me if I was trying to can sing, but I keep playing. Why? Because he is good. He showed me he's with me. Yes. He showed me that he's with this church. Yes. He showed me with everybody that who in this room. Amen. Like I said, we can be somewhere else doing something else. We can be at home watching TV. But we here. Yes. Yes. So we're going to get it done. So you're still alive. You see you breathing. Yes. You see Come on. Yes. You see you walking. Mm -hmm. And you still talking. Yes. yes. No matter what happens, we won't get it done. Oh. Thank you. Amen. How are you, both of you, brother? Them. How are they? Yeah. How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? I'm 31. I want to make the age. Yes. Amen. I want to make it. I want to make it. Worship God. Yes. I want to make it. In church. Yes. My father, he don't make it. He died a day before my birth. I said, really? For three years, I don't celebrate my birthday. For three years. But what I say, I'm gonna make a cake, I say. Forget about it, I don't know. But then I realized, I say, well, God keep giving me dreams that he's over there. Because uh -huh. when he was sick, I call him and say, put the phone on his ear, I'm gonna give him something. I know he can hear me. So I prayed with him, I say, please receive the Lord. I wanna see you over there. Amen. Amen. You know, it's, it's not easy. But I know they can hear when they're in the bed. Amen. On a Thursday night, I went to church. It was so hard for me, for real. Because I was still fed for 21 days. I was doing everything, singing, playing, serving on the church. On a Thursday night, I was in church. I feel something. A few women fight walk uh, when he died. I call them. They tell me he died on this time. I take a zoom on my mat say I was in church. That time I walked away from church, I went outside. Started screaming like crazy. And I went back inside church like nothing happened. Mm -hmm. But 
I think I try to get, I try to quick for each other when that happens. I say, I'm doing all of this, but you never respond to my prayer. So what kind of God are you? The one you want me to serve? You want me to be in church? The one you want me to do all of these things? But you can ask me a prayer. Since that day, I said, I'm going to quit this church. I don't want to quit coming to church. Why? Because he did not respond to my prayer. What I'm doing? Where's my time? But he's good. Yes, he is. Yeah. I realize that no matter what happens, mm -hmm. he's good. Yeah. Amen. No matter what happens, mm -hmm. I'm going to get it done. Amen. No matter what happens, I try to make it that age. We try to make it to at least eight. Mm -hmm. I don't want to die young. Mm -hmm. I don't want to leave my babies. Mm -hmm. I don't want to leave my wife. Mm -hmm. But, let me tell you something. It's not over till mm -hmm. we win. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's not over until we win. Amen. Mm -hmm. Why I say that? Because uh, we are still here. Mm -hmm. We still got an opportunity to do it again. We still got the chance to start all over again. Amen. Amen. We don't have to be young. We don't have to be young. Mm -hmm. Noah, he started building the ark when he was 180 years old. Mm -hmm. So, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Yeah, we still got some time. Yes, sir. What we bring, we Amen. still have some time. Amen. If we in the bed, we still have time. Yes. To show somebody that God is good. Amen. Yes. When we in bed, a lot of people's coming. Hey, don't go, please. We still can't say God is good. Amen. No matter what, God is good. No matter what we doing, God is good. Amen. 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 I'm going to finish with this. Let's go to Timothy, sec the second book of Timothy. Mm -hmm. Chapter 4, verse 5. Mm -hmm. This not over till we win. Yes, right. Amen. I'm winning already. I'm here. Amen. Amen. I'm preaching. Yeah. We win. We're still here. Yeah. <coughs> he got something with us. He still got something to show us. Amen. It's not over yet. Not over. Let's keep. Second God, let's keep pray. Let's keep worship. Let's keep following him. Yes. Let's keep showing his love to everybody. Let's do show the love of God in different ways. I was posting something. I'm not posting Bible verses sometimes on my face. Sometimes I post a laughing things, joking with my friends, and all that kind of stuff. But when I feel that I gotta post something, I do it. I say, everybody try to wait to January 14 to show the love of God. Or to show human love to everybody else. Mm -hmm. Christians too. It's not wrong to do that. But what we will do every single day. Why we gotta wait to January 14? Sometimes my wife says, hey, why well, you don't bring me something? I said, really? You got me. Whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> she got mad with me. <laughs> I try to be mad. I try to, I try to laugh. And I don't want to be those preachers that just do this. No, I just try to be. Got a good time when I'm preaching. Yes, yes. I'm joking too much with my people when I'm working. Too much. I don't pass it, pass it later with. Pastor Watson, they see my video. I was joking with one of my employees over there. 
<laughs> That's what we're doing the whole time. Amen. Amen. That's what we do because we won the day by faith. We don't want to always oh, one o'clock. No, we don't feel the time. Sometimes we ate like one, two o'clock because we don't feel the time. We working and working. But you know, when I can, I show them the love of God. They Christians too. But I try to be more than that. Amen. We Christian, we go to the same church, but try to be not used to Christian brother, try to be a good boss man, try to be a friendship with them. Yes. When they require me to use my children, say go ahead, there's the keys. When they require me to say, yeah, I want bars money, say go ahead. Try to be nice with them. Because I know when I was going to somebody else's place, that was crazy. But that's my story. <laughs> <laughs> but let's go, let's go to us. Timothy, where's five? And we're going to finish with this. But you keep your head in no situation. Endure the hardship, do the work of evangelists, discharge all the duties of your ministry. For well, I am already paying fury of like a drink, preparing, and the time for my departure is near. Mm -hmm. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race. I have kept my faith. Now there is no store for me the crown of writers, which the Lord, the writers, judge, will award to me on the day, and not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. We haven't finished the race yet, but we gotta keep running the race. You gotta keep. You can run it. Walk. You can walk. Do like this. Thanks. Do something, but don't stop. We gotta do something. Amen. So keep going. Amen. We come back. I'm gonna say this. Sorry for everybody. When somebody comes and give, give you a key on the back, you see one forward. No matter what they do, if somebody push you, you can be forward. Then I will push you, you can go back. No matter what you're doing, keep going. Forward. Yes. We're, no, we're still here. It's not going to be easy. But remember, he going to be with us. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. The whole time. Yes. Amen. Thank you. For everybody. Thank you, God. Pastor David, thank you. Thank you, everybody, to come tonight. I don't know it's not going to be easy because sometimes we hear, we got fun, we hear the word of God. Sometimes we go out, something happens. Mm -hmm. Amen. But remember, he with us. That's right. One day, this touched my heart. My son told me, Dad, I said, Yes, sir. I want to go with Jesus. I said, Wow. But he said, but I want to still live it too. You know, when your son come and tell you that, that thing touched my heart yes. when he come and tell me that. Amen. Why? Because I don't want to see my son die in front of me. I know he's going to be there, but still, human feelings is yes. something else. Amen. Right. Amen. But if he want to be, then I realize if he want to go, that's fine. I'm not going to be ready. But no, he's going over there. Yes. And if I keep straight, I'm going to see him. See him with his amen. Hallelujah. So, we got to keep going. Please don't stop. Remember, the evil will put some things out of the way. It's like the lion trying to eat us. But we can tell he has life. He got the Holy Spirit on us. So when we accept Christ, the Holy Spirit automatically come into us. Yes. If you don't speak in tongues, don't worry about it. As long as you got the Spirit of God, you're good. Amen. Because that Amen. Means you are the Son of the Lord. You are the Son of the Lord. Glory. Amen. You 
going to be good. You're going to be on his hands. No, it's not going to be easy. But remember, we are still on this world's world. Okay. Thank you, Pastor Larry. Thank you so much. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. God. Praise God.